Happy Friday everybody, All In Crypto here and today we are going to be making a video on what perhaps is going to be a very polarizing topic and the topic of today's video is going to be in regards to Bitcoin's origin and perhaps the real intent behind Bitcoin and this is something that I don't think people question as much as perhaps they should. Bitcoin is almost like divine intervention in regards to how it came to us and the success that it's been since then, largely off the back end of the escalation of the fiat systems and the inevitable doom and death spiral that they are in in regards to debt proliferation. If you understand the fiat systems, you understand that they are debt-based systems and we are seeing a hyperinflation in the debt markets. Of course, we know what happened from March 2020 onwards, but this is now causing a rather aggressive death spiral for these systems and we're all kind of playing the game until eventually one day you know the emperor will realize he's got no clothes on um, and bitcoin i guess came about at the perfect time for all this and this makes me a little bit skeptical a little bit worried perhaps about bitcoin's origins and the real intent behind bitcoin um, it kind of seems too good to be true and i think this deserves a lot more of a conversation than there is currently about it. And I wanna just sort of stop here before we continue on in regards to this topic and explain my own personal um, position in regards to Bitcoin. So we were one of, as I'm sure many of you know that follow me daily, first people back into the cryptocurrency markets after the bear market of 2022. You know, we were largely out for 2022 and around about 15, 16K, we were looking at a number of things technically that led us to believe the downtrend after FTX capitulation was coming to an end or likely and subject to change. So from an investment point of view, I'm exceptionally bullish on Bitcoin. And I think that comes from what we're looking at technically, but perhaps more in a macro terms because I understand the fiat systems and the lifeboat, I guess, that Bitcoin offers as a result of that. So I am very bullish on Bitcoin from a price point of view. Um, I guess the flip side of that is I'm very bearish on the fiat systems and, 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 the, and the dollar and the pound and the euro and their ability to be stores of value. Uh, and I think that Bitcoin is a great alternative. But I am very skeptical on the origins of Bitcoin and just how much of a success it's been and how well timed all of this is, how many coincidences there are with everything. You know, I think that sometimes things are more than a coincidence and perhaps planned, maybe. Um, and if you look at the internet, for example, if you look at other technologies that have been given to us, you often find that the narrative that's initially painted in enough time or given enough time turns out to not quite be the real narrative and the real story behind it or uh, the intent that was initially thought of. And I think, I'm leaning more towards this, that Bitcoin is somewhat similar and that actually it's kind of too good to be true, the Bitcoin narrative and the Satoshi narrative. Uh, the fact that nobody knows who Satoshi is and it's very smart if the, if the Satoshi story is true that he would be anonymous because we've seen the SEC go after founders and one of the reasons Bitcoin is such, such a success and has been deemed a non-security is because there's no kind of founder behind it. So I think it's very smart if the Satoshi narrative is a real one, but I can't help but feel a little bit uneasy about the fact that no one knows who Satoshi is. I mean, just think about this. I woke up this morning and this was the first thought I had on my mind, rather sadly, I guess, uh, certainly for those people that aren't as fascinated about this industry as I am, that isn't it remarkable that someone somewhere woke up one day, or it might have been something that was bugging them for a while or, or being thought about for a while and thought, I'm gonna release an alternative currency. I'm gonna release an alternative monetary system. And this happened in 2008. Coincidentally, at the perfect time, and, and one of the things that was incorporated in Satoshi's um, initial kind of corresponding with the world was a article from, I think it was the Times, which spoke about the chancellor on the round, on the second round of bailouts in regards to the 2008 financial crisis. So isn't it remarkable that somebody just came along and ultimately decided that they were gonna create a new currency system using cryptography. And there have been papers before Bitcoin 
that outlined how you could use cryptography in a distributed ledger to actually facilitate a currency. But isn't it remarkable that somebody basically decided they wanted to make a currency back in 2008, again, when all the problems with the traditional banking system started to really play havoc, when there was essentially a mass failing of the traditional banking system. You know, it came around at the perfect time. And since then, today we are in a position where most institutions are heavily accumulating and acquiring Bitcoin. And we have the likes of Larry Fink coming out on national television, I think it was a CNBC um, piece, and saying that Bitcoin is a currency that will transcend all of the global fiat currencies. I mean, doesn't that seem a little bit remarkable? Doesn't the timing of all this seem a little bit amazing? And that leads me to kind of question a number of things. Certainly who's behind Bitcoin and the fact that the fiat systems are failing, quite literally, in regards to if you understand money, all money is is an IOU at this point. Money comes into existence through being lent into the system. And if you look at banks, they're all stuffed to the gills with debt. Uh, and ultimately that debt is likely to devalue, first of all, slowly, like perhaps it is, and then all of a sudden, very suddenly. Um, and that's gonna cause what I believe is gonna lead us to a new financial system. And Bitcoin has came around literally at the perfect time, perhaps to get people used to a new system a cryptography, a digital system. Um, and that makes me a little bit nervous. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this video. So I'm very bullish on Bitcoin from a price point of view, but very perhaps skeptical and worried in regards to a narrative point of view. And I'm perhaps not a believer in the Satoshi story. Um, I can't help but feel that if Bitcoin posed any kind of a real threat to the powers that be, the international banking cartel, they would have stopped it in its tracks way before it was ever allowed to get to this point. You know, the fact that we saw and have seen Bitcoin spot ETFs in the United States that have all been offered by the largest hedge funds in the world and they're all quickly becoming the largest holders of Bitcoin, they would not have allowed that to happen if they thought it was gonna be any kind of a real threat or perhaps not part of their global plan. Um, and I do think this is definitely worth me making a video on and sort of talking about and, and, and maybe throwing a word of caution out there to people who believe perhaps that the Bitcoin story is a true one and, it, and all that you're being told is all that is out there, you know, the, 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 the reality of the situation. I, I don't happen to think it is. And, you know, I, I genuinely care for, for you guys on the other end of the camera and I want people to be very cautious in regards to believing in this story. Um, we always say, and we always kind of hate on the Bitcoin maximalists. I think they've got Bitcoin very right, but there's a far broader application to distributed ledger technology. I don't think that Satoshi was Hal Finney. Um, I think it's a very fitting story and Hal Finney certainly had a lot of early involvement in Bitcoin, but I, I, I happen to believe that there are perhaps more sinister uh, motives behind Bitcoin, allowing it to succeed to the manner that it has, and the timing of it. You know, it's almost like they're now providing a new horse for the old one as it's dying, the fiat systems, uh, for us to transition over to. And it seems alien to think that we're going to go to a new monetary system, but we are. It's only alien to us. In fact, we've not had this monetary system um, for that long at all, 50 years or so since they took us off the gold standard. Before then, we were on another standard. Prior to that, we were on another standard. Currencies change throughout time, and I do think that Bitcoin is going to play a massive role. And this is why I think this is one of the big questions in regards to Bitcoin's origins, who's really behind it and what the real intent is of our lifetime is because I am convinced at this point that Bitcoin has basically introduced the new system. And whether that's Bitcoin or whether they do something with Bitcoin to have a shift, a, a, a migration from it to whatever system they have that's of a similar makeup is still to be seen. But it, it, it's just too good to be true, guys. Uh, it really is. I mean, I would love the Satoshi narrative to be the right one um, and to be the accurate and correct one. I just don't happen to believe it is. You know, I, I, I think there's too many coincidences. It's too perfectly timed. You know, it wouldn't have been allowed 
to get to where it has if it was any kind of a real threat to the international banking cartel. And I think there's a greater plan for Bitcoin. And again, Bitcoin maxis, we kind of drifted off a little bit there, are some of, in my opinion, the dumbest people in the room because they don't question this. They accept the story that they've been told and the arguments, quite frankly, that they put up for Bitcoin. I mean, I, I literally watched Michael Saylor make the case for Bitcoin based on how many chairs the guy that was interviewing him was sat on. And he basically said, well, you're sat on one chair, so why not be all in on Bitcoin? Hang on, <laughs> you sit on multiple chairs and things probably in a day. Um, you know, it, it wasn't a great argument. I, I, I think the Bitcoin, I think most Bitcoin maxis probably believe in a lot of what I'm saying here and are a little bit skeptical also, but they've built careers off them. So they have to kind of propagate what they've started. But I guess this was just a video and I really want to know your thoughts on this. You know, what do you think about the Bitcoin story and the origins and perhaps the true intent behind Bitcoin? Because I happen to believe that the story we've been told is not perhaps the right one. And I think just the miracle-esque nature of Bitcoin and how it came about at literally the perfect time as we are witnessing the failing of the fiat systems. And you've got this entirely new monetary system that uses distributed ledger technology and cryptography. I just think it's too good to be true, guys. Uh, and you're talking to somebody who's very bullish on Bitcoin, but skeptical and wants other people to be skeptical and really question what's going on here because there's a number of things that don't add up. You know, the fact that nobody knows who Satoshi is, to me, is worrying. Um, you know, and again, if you look at other technologies and how they've came to be, often there's been an initial narrative, a kind of basement story that's been propagated, and then you eventually find out that the likes of the CIA and others are involved and have been involved and helped get it to where it needed to go. Is that perhaps and I'm not saying the CIA are behind Bitcoin, I really don't know as well, guys. I don't have all the answers, but what I do have is a brain, which is a God-given gift, which we all have, to kind of question things and say, look, is what we've been told the real story? Is it the real narrative? And I'm not quite convinced that it is. Um, I'm really not. And I think this kind of one world system Actually, a global ledger fits quite nicely into that. And I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole. I'm in danger of sounding like Alex Jones here, perhaps, um, which I'm not trying to do. I'm just trying to sort of say, again, as somebody who's very bullish on Bitcoin, that perhaps we should be questioning the origins of it and the real intent and what it may lead to. You know, could you imagine if the entire world adopts Bitcoin as a global currency? Is that a good or a bad thing? Well, many would argue it's a good thing, but the fact is we just simply don't know. Sure, I mean, how can you argue that it would be anything of a bad thing when you understand the current systems that we have and how they work? You can't really say that Bitcoin would be a worse alternative. But how do you know that? You know, how do you know who's in control of this system? Who ultimately has the power over it and will end up with the power over it? There's just a lot of unanswered questions that I think people should be questioning. And this was just a video to perhaps highlight some of them and bring them to your attention. Um, because I don't think people should so easily believe the Satoshi story. And again, the timing of Bitcoin, it's almost like divine intervention. And I've always been taught that if something's too good to be true, you should question it uh, and you should question it again and you should try and make some sense of it. You shouldn't just believe it. And that's kind of where I'm at with the Satoshi story and Bitcoin's origins. I'm not really a believer in it. Um, and I think there's perhaps more nefarious intent behind it. And essentially, I kind of overarchingly believe that Bitcoin was introduced to us to get us all used to this idea of digital currencies uh, and move away from a dying horse and onto a fresher one, move away from a dying system and onto a new one. Um, that may be the system that reigns for the next 100 years. And there's going to be amazing opportunities in that. We're going to keep you up to date on them on the channel daily. But that's really all I've got for you guys. Just a really short and sweet one. I just kind of wanted to perhaps share some thoughts um, on Bitcoin and its origins and why I'm a little bit skeptical. And I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. All I've got for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you all in the next one.